Yo, welcome back to the Headbangers Ball on location at the Dynamo Festival in Eindhoven, Holland. And we are working very hard to bring you all the action from this two-day event, part one, happening tonight. And I uh, hope you're enjoying the live performances. And a little earlier, we were talking to uh, Dweezil Zappa and his brother Amit. They're actually on stage now. But right now, it's time to meet up with one of my favorite people actually to meet on Headbangers Ball. Mr. Mike Tramp is over here and with his band Freak of Nature who played here a little bit earlier this afternoon. So Mike, welcome back to uh, Headbangers Ball. Very nice to see all you guys and uh, the first time that we've heard the whole band on the show. So maybe you could give us a little introduction in person. Over there. <laughs> Officially from Babylon, New York on guitar, Mr. Kenny Corade. <laughs> Right there next to me, shoving his bass in my face every single night. I love him anyway. On the bass from Philadelphia, Mr. Jerry Best. Right. Right, right behind here. me, but right now, right next to me, on the drums from Westchester. Actually, the jester from Westchester. That's right. Mr. Johnny Harrow. Peace out. And last, but certainly not least, the last Native American left. Mr. Dennis Chick on guitar. Scrubbing. <laughs> well, you've got a very cool looking bunch of guys around you. Oh, they're cool. And uh, we had you on Headbangers Ball presenting the show a few little while ago. You did a great job. Thanks for that. Are you through with the hate mail. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get any. Um, and quite a lot's been going on with Freak, Freak of Nature since then. So um, could you fill us in a little bit about what's been happening? Well, all the ball is now over and now we're actually playing, which is what we wanted to do in the first place, you know. We didn't really join this business to start talking, you know, we really just want to get out there and play. And uh, within the week, we've been to Japan, Norwich, and now we're in Eindhoven. So what more can you ask for? You know, we're, we're here in Europe, as I promised we was going to be, you know, we're here for three months now. We want to just play anywhere and everywhere. And uh, our manager's making that possible that we really just want to plant the freak seed in European ground. Mm -hmm. So you cannot, you know, uh, remove it. And uh, I've been talking about to the guys about getting British and citizenship, but they're still considering it. <laughs> well, you've certainly kept your promise because there's just like loads of tour dates and also some UK shows coming up in July as well, I think. We'll talk about those in a moment. But uh, you guys, you've had to adapt from being in a club to being on a festival stage and go through that whole thing of all bonding together as a band. So how's that been working out? Well, besides the fact that we don't even know what day it is, traveling back and forth, London, LA. If it's Saturday, it must over. be Eindhoven. <laughs> What's that? If it's Saturday, it must be Eindhoven. Yeah, it must be. I don't know. But uh, we loved it. Now, this is what we live for, you know? Up there on a big stage, 110 decibels. It was great. So it went well this afternoon? I think so. Yeah, good. I hope so. Good. Now, when you were in Japan, um, I think you did some acoustic. Yeah. stuff as well and is that going to be something to do with the new single that's coming out well i think you're gonna have to wait and see because uh if i uh, give that away right now there won't be any surprise huh there you, you know go. so uh there will be a little more you can give well, it away it's all right man it's you all right give it all you know about. you don't want to blow your load that quick i mean well, actually, wanna, you know i can't keep quiet that's you, it right? you tell us mike you've had you've done some acoustic is it b-side well we, we don't we we call it unplugged it's like a new invented word, like Ooh. Seattle. Oh, like Seattle. Boy. <laughs> but actually what we've done, we, we brought drums in, a little drum kit. He's only actually doing bass drum and snare drum. And we actually got that with us. We're doing that around, uh, we're doing autograph session in stores and we bring that with us so we can do so. We ended up doing Turn the Other Way and What Am I, unplugged to uh, additional songs for, for the uh, Rescue Me single. And it's, right. it's very happening because it's still very aggressive, you know, we didn't suddenly want to turn, you know, Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young. No, right. We're still, you know, because that's all past. Freak of Nature is a heavy band and, you know, we kept the heaviness even though it's acoustic guitar. So we really enjoy it, the, the diversity of doing, doing the these things. The groove is still burning, thank you very much. <laughs> all right then, well, we're going to talk to Freak of Nature some more right after we've shown you this brilliant live performance, the band on stage here at the Dynamo Festival.
I know it's very important to you <laughs> that the whole band is, is seen and that it's not just uh, the indication of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's great to see all the guys because I know it's important to Mike. Yeah, that it no, definitely is because it takes a, a big load off me. I don't like, you know, it's the same thing. We were, we were talking the other night about how to enter the stage. <laughs> and I've always hated entering the stage last. It's like, oh, okay, here he comes. And it really, you know, so now we just walk in together, you know, and it's, it just it gives a better feeling just awesome. hanging, you know, because you don't want to carry that load like, oh, wait till the singer gets here. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank I mean, you. Also, I'm very, very happy being in this band. I mean, also taking the, that kind of pressure off you must actually give you a lot more time to actually enjoy yourself. Well, see, that's exactly what it is. You know, I'm telling my manager all the time, why do I have to do all the interviews? Now that I've explained what happened to Wide Line, everything now becomes freak of nature or stuff, and anybody in the band can answer that question. Okay, well, um, we've got a bit of news for you because uh, Mike told me just a little bit earlier that Freak of Nature have just been added to the Roskilde Festival in Denmark, which I know is a little bit special for you in particular, Mike. Well, I've actually grown up with that festival every year, you know, and just like always dreamed about, you know, being on that festival, but I never thought I really had the right act to be on that festival, you know. Festival is a different crowd, you know, it's not like a concert. It's You, you need to, enter a lot of people just hanging there for the vibe, you know. So I'm very, very happy that I finally get to, you know, come back to Dan Denmark with Freak of Nature. I'm very excited about it, you know. It's but still, it's it's still only going to be another show, you know. I can't put too many, you know, things on it, you know. Good. Well, I wish you all the best of luck for that, and of course, the rest Thanks of time. the European tour um, with UK shows coming up in July. Is that right? Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're coming back to the UK in in July, and we're we're gonna play everywhere: Ireland, Scotland, Wales. All of UK. You got a pup? We'll be there. Everybody's backyard. We'll be there. Well, you've certainly stuck to your promise to, uh, as you said, plant the seed, a freak of nature in Europe. So um, very nice to meet you all finally at last and best of luck you for too. the rest of the tour. And uh, we'll see you again yeah. soon. And right now the Headbangers Ball from, Ro uh, I keep saying Roskilde, the Headbangers Ball from the Dynamo Festival continues with one of this week's new releases.